go through them. But my chief aim and interest about Mandela Effect is that it's from a benefactor. This is communication from a benefactor. Something on the outside of the construct does these things to catch our attention. And the more we logically chase that, chase that, the more we the more we realize this is all altruistic. Mandela effect has never hurt anybody. And yet, and yet the exact same things that could be changed to just catch our attention could also be changed to hurt us, to, to hurt us terribly. Yeah. But those things don't happen. I mean, uh, if all the Mandela effects are only slight things that make you go, damn, I know it was the other way. And, and everybody agrees, hundreds of thousands of people agree that, that a certain slogan in a movie has been changed. Yeah. You think it's, you, you think it's, it's a, uh, it can easily be glossed over, but there's too many of them now. And sometimes we find hard artifacts in our world where people can pull up that the co that the control systems of the construct forgot about, didn't realize because it hasn't entered human consciousness in like 40 years. So the system totally forgot that that mug was in that attic that had Berenstein bears uh, uh, spelled in a certain way. So. And the constructs now promoting that it, that it's, a, it's this way. So yeah, I see 100% of Mandela effect being a, a beneficial phenomenon, getting people to wake up. Hey man, your reality is augmented. Pay attention. So yeah, 100%.